Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board Flatty Express. This is your captain speaking. Please sit back, relax, while I gently dip the nose of aircraft to follow the Earth's curvature. Today, we answer the age-old question, if pilots have to dip the nose of aircraft to follow the Earth's curvature. Let's take a look at this one hour, 10 minute time lapse. Keep an eye on the North Star Polaris and the Little Dipper. The Pole Star is supposed to be unmoving at the Earth's celestial pole, while the rest of the stars appear to rotate around the North Celestial Pole due to Earth's rotation. Look for the whole sky, that is all the stars, to rise up in the windshield as we fly around Earth's curvature. Observe a Big Dipper rise straight up from the horizon. That is not normal movement for a circumpolar constellation. Well, there you have it, folks. The Earth's curvature, demonstrated by the dipping of a nose relative to the stars. The airplane is in level flight at a specific pressure altitude around the curved surface of the globe, so it is constantly adjusting to stay level as level changes underneath. The airplane is trimmed for level flight, so the adjustment is seamless without the pilots being actively involved. The ground curves one degree for every 60 nautical miles we travel. That works out to 7.5 degrees of curvature per hour at average airliner cruise speeds, just over a tenth of a degree per minute. The flurf tier is a tasting mighty sweet right about now. If you like globe smacking a flurf as much as I do, hit the subscribe button. I will keep bringing the pain to Flatty. Coming up next on the channel, I help the flurf find the sun's altitude and introduce celestial navigation. Now let's take a deeper dive into the north sky and circumpolar star motion using Stellarium. You can see Polaris is pretty much at the North Celestial Pole. Um, here's NCP North Celestial Pole, here's Polaris. Of course everything is spinning around and that's not the star spinning, that is just the Earth spinning. Let's cancel it out by putting, um, by switching on the equatorial mount option here. You can see North Celestial Pole, Polaris very close to each other. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit and look at the constellations we saw in the video. And we saw the Little Dipper, which is, I think we saw, okay, we saw it like this. So this is what we saw, just about like that. So we were looking at Polaris, we were looking at the Little Dipper here, and then we saw the Big Dipper down here, that rose up out of the horizon as we flew around the Earth's curvature. But, um, you know, Flatty likes to say, hey, look, Polaris is still, that's proof for a flat Earth or something. Well, in fact, it's more, a little bit more interesting than that. If we look at the stars, everything is still. Look, our time is just a running here, um, and nothing is moving. We can really speed up the time, and nothing is moving. Look, the days are just ticking by, and then don't see a thing moving out in, um, in the northern sky. Everything is still, all the stars are still. The, the motion comes from Earth's rotation. So I'm going to slow down time a little bit because we don't want to get dizzy. And we're going to take it off the equatorial mount. And now the world is spinning again, or the stars are spinning again. All right, now let's take a look at the orientation of the stars. Um, we will regular time and let's switch on the ground. Switch on cardinal points, good, and so that's about, oh, right about here. That's what we were seeing in the video. Polaris here, the Little Dipper, and then the Big Dipper still below the horizon. Now let's play this at regular speed, or let's, let's fast forward a little bit, and let's see how the Big Dipper is supposed to rise. So here's a, the Big Dipper, here's a pointer stars of a Big Dipper pointing to Polaris, and here's the Big Dipper rising to the east, east of Polaris. That's what's supposed to happen. That's not what happened in the video. Let's back it up a little bit and let's show you what happened in the video. Okay, so now let's Time is running, and let's just change our location. 
let's start moving northwards and let's see what happens to all the stars as we fly to the north. Uh, okay, here we go. Watch Polaris, the Little Dipper, and watch for Big Dipper to start rising. Going northwards. Well, I'd say that's exactly what happened in, our, in my time lapse. Any questions?